Hi, Todd Dunn here for Life on the Edge. Today I'm back on my sailboat, my Allied Princess 36 Sea Questor, to do a little work. The first thing I'm going to do this year is put the lifelines back on. I take them off every fall so that the stanchions won't tear my tarp that I cover the boat with. So I'll put them back on because the boat, I feel really insecure up here without them. And, but once they're on, I feel a lot better about walking around on the boat. So that's what I'm going to do. Okay, in the background you can see me uh, working away, putting up the stanchions. I take them down every year uh, because it's easier on the tarp for storing the boat over the winter than put them back up. The procedure is pretty simple. I simply set the stanchions in the bases, put the screw that holds them in place in, and then move on to the next one. The only difference is the lifeline gates, uh, which have braces, which have bolts that are threaded into the deck, which I have to screw down and put a little sealant on. And other than that, they go up the same way. Once the stanchions are all up, I simply attach the ends of the lifelines to the pulpit and the push pit, tighten up the turnbuckles, and then close the lifeline gate, and I'm done. It's a pretty simple procedure. I've done it every year for about the last six years, and it's definitely worth it for winter storage. All right, the lifelines are back on. Here we go, up the starboard side, all the way up to the bow. They're only 20 inches high, so probably doesn't make any real difference. If you fall, you probably go right over them, but uh, at least they give you the feeling of security that you wouldn't necessarily, that you don't have when they're down. I feel a lot less secure up here with the lifelines down. So that is the project I'm going to do on the boat for today. And I can walk around briefly and outline a few of the other things I have to do this year. I'm going to start this year by stripping the varnish off of the cabin top handrails, which is something I hate to do, but it has to be done, and revarnishing them at least starting the process. And up forward, we won't be doing much, just uh, cleaning. You can see uh, I've got a 35 pound plow anchor. This is actually a Danforth plow, which is <laughs> something that's not made anymore. It goes to a Lumar 600 windlass. I have all chain road. That holds adequately for the kind of use I give it. Right here, the little black cap is a deck wash for when I haul the anchor. I can uh, rinse it off, hook my hose and nozzle up to it. Two 40 watt or 20 watt solar panels to give me 40 watts of solar. And that's adequate since we don't use the boat every day. It keeps everything uh, working keeps the batteries right up. My battery bank is four Group 27 flooded batteries to give me about 420 amp hours, which is necessary for a couple of reasons. Not the least is right there. That is an Anderson 40 self-tailing electric winch, as is the one on the other side. Boy, those were a nice upgrade. It made a big difference in how easy it is to sail the boat. I put them on largely because I broke my shoulder blade a few years ago and for about three years I was unable to crank a winch for more than four or five minutes without significant pain. So I bought the bullet and put electric winches on and boy I'm glad I did. I'm also going to be doing touch-up varnishing here. Put a couple more coats on. Same there. Especially I have to strip some varnish off the winch pad. It's 
bled in under the switch for the electric winch and the lines always chew up the varnish on top of the cockpit combing so I'll redo that and this year I'm going to redo the companion way completely strip it in and go back to zero and re-varnish it and that really is about all that I'm going to do uh, during the spring season on this boat other than paint the bottom and do some cleanup and a little work inside. The boat is pretty easy to get ready to go in. So that's where I am today. So let me say thank you for watching. Uh, this was a very simple little project today. Didn't take any time and easy to do. And I'm ready to move on now to more time consuming projects on this boat and also to get going on my 1936 wooden boat, which does take a lot more time. So thank you for watching. Click like if you enjoyed it and subscribe to my channel if you want notifications of uh, more videos as I continue to work on the boats for the next couple of months. Thank you very much.